Welcome to the course on design of electronic converters. We were discussing hardware design. Today's lecture we will discuss PCBs. PCBs or printed circuit boards must be very familiar to you. This is a picture of a PCB. Now to make this PCBs, what is done is that first you need to make a schematic the schematic of the circuit for which the PCB has to be made that not only contains the power electronic circuit, it also contains uh, all the rest of the components that you would like to place on the same printed circuit board. For example, uh, it will be having the drivers in it, it can also have the controller, it can also have the sensing circuit, the analog signal processing circuits, etc. And then after making the schematic, this PCB is designed. This is the picture of a design of a PCB. Now to design the PCBs, what is uh, done is that the size of the board is chosen and then the different components are placed in it at different positions. Now how you would like to place the components inside the PCB? that is something very important. So, after placing the components at different positions, then the points which are connected to each other, they are connected using copper traces. Now, you can see that this is a copper trace, this is another copper trace. Like this, uh, there will be many traces. This is also another trace. You can see that these are all different traces using which the connections are formed. Now, this placement of components and uh, putting up the copper tracks or the traces together, this is called as the layout of the PCB. Now, presently, uh, we have many software which uh, we can use for designing PCBs. Earlier, people used to do it by hand in olden days. But uh, now many software are available, some of which are very sophisticated software for PCB designing, where uh, not only you can draw the schematic and uh, make the design, uh, you can do the layout of the PCB, you can also simulate uh, the circuit, that means you can do circuit simulation in the same software and you can also uh, check for uh, the parasitics of the PCBs and signal integrity and EMI issues uh, which we will be uh, discussing little later. To design the PCB, the first thing that is required is the footprint of the component. So, whatever different components that you would like to place in the PCB, you have to obtain the footprint of those components according to their package. For example, if we have a SMD device like this and let us say if it is an 8 pin SMD, so this is uh, the footprint uh, depending on the package if it is a DIP 8 package or if it is a 6 pin of the same package, so something like this is the footprint. So, it is a footprint is basically when you place uh, the component on the PCB. So, then uh, the points at which the pins at uh, which you are going to solder that uh, uh, design or that diagram is the footprint. Now, uh, here like this, this is a through hole component. So, then uh, the footprint will have uh, holes in it and uh, then copper across it. So, this is the footprint of a through hole component like a capacitor. And these are also footprints of uh, some SMD components. So, when you choose the footprint or you make the footprint, you have to be very careful about the dimensions of the, of the device or the component. And uh, if uh, it is a component for which footprint is available, uh, usually the PCB designing software, they have got extensive libraries where uh, you will get the footprints of many of the components that we use. And uh, as I have told you before that uh, some of these components uh, they are manufactured in different packages. So, when you choose the footprint be careful of the package that you are choosing because different packages of the same component 
will have different footprints. Now, let us say if we have uh, this through hole device. So, when we place it on the PCB, so the footprint will have these holes and then it also has to have a copper pore across it or which you can call it as the pad and the black one this black circle that I had drawn is the hole. So, if uh, this is the PCB, so the capacitor the cylindrical capacitor is placed like this and then there are uh, two holes and then uh, it goes through it these are these two legs and it is uh, soldered from the bottom side. So, here you can see that this is this you can see. So, here this is the hole and then this is the, the pad which is shown here for the one PCB. Similarly, this is uh, another uh, one which you can see which is a hole and a pad and like that uh, there are uh, many of uh, the pads and holes uh, which you can see uh, there usually for through hole components there will be a hole and then across it there will be a copper filling which is called as the pad to which the component is soldered. And if we have um, an SMD that means uh, we do not need a hole. So, in that case uh, it will be simply a pad like this um, it is shown here you can see that these are all just uh, simply pads with no holes in it. And uh, then the PCB can uh, just have simply holes with no pads in it for example, if you want to screw the PCB to the enclosure that means the box of your power converter. So, there uh, you do not need to solder you just need to fix the screw. So, you just need a hole. So, uh, this is the picture of just uh, simply a hole in the PCB. So, here you can see that uh, so this one is uh, uh, the picture in the actual PCB this is the pad and then this is the hole these are uh, the PCB designs the layouts and this is uh, the image of the actual PCB you can see here here uh, this one is the pad and the hole and this is just the um, these are just the pads. Then if we have uh, a two sided PCB, two sided PCB means on the one side this is one side of, uh, of copper and then uh, that is the top side and of course, you will uh, be having the bottom also. So, this side will be the bottom bottom side. Now, let us say if there is uh, one connection point here and on the bottom side there is another connection point. So, if we have to see the front view let us say if we uh, draw the front view. So, this is the PCB. So, this is the top layer and this one is the bottom layer. Now, if there is one connection point at the top and there is another connection point at the bottom and if we have to connect them what is done is that the track uh, comes from here from the top and uh, then it has to pass through uh, this PCB that means we have to have one hole here and not only hole it also should have the copper in it because it is a connection. And then further this trace travels in the bottom layer and goes to the connection point. So, this thing is called as a wire. So, here you can see that this is a wire you can see here this uh, these ones are uh, uh, pictures of wires that means the tracks are traveling from one layer to another layer. And there you have a hole plus the copper filling in it or the copper pore in it. So, the difference uh, between your uh, through hole pad uh, and your wire is that um, in through hole pad uh, you have 
it is meant for soldering whereas so why are you do not solder anything it is just uh, the copper track which is passing. So, uh, these are also pictures of, um, uh, of the wires you can see here of a, um, in a PCB layout and uh, in this one here you can see that this one in the actual PCB picture this is a wire these are some wires which are placed here. So, these pads holds wires and uh, traces or tracks these are some of the very very common terms uh, which are used uh, uh, while discussing PCBs. Now, I just uh, mentioned that there can be two sides in a PCB uh, or top side and the bottom side, but these days uh, we have a multi layer PCBs that means more than one layer of copper it is it usually means you have more than two layer of uh, layers of copper in that PCB. So, what it looks like is uh, shown using this diagram is this is let us say is the top layer of the PCB that means this is the top uh, side where, uh, where you have the copper traces. And uh, then this is the bottom side or the bottom layer where again you have uh, copper traces. And then in between there are middle layers. So, this one is a middle layer which is a copper layer and this also contains tracks copper tracks. So, this is middle layer 1 and between this top layer and middle layer 1 there is an insulating material. So, the one that I am marking with blue. So, that is this insulating uh, layer insulation layer between this middle layer 1 and the top layer. And if we have another middle layer 2, so then again in between we have to have another insulation layer. So, this is that another insulation layer between the middle layer 1 and middle layer 2 and then further this middle layer 2 is again a copper layer where uh, we will be having tracks or traces and then further again between bottom layer and the middle layer 2 there will be an insulation layer in between us. us so, that is like a sandwich you have two copper layers and then uh, there is an insulation in between in there that is uh, like a sandwich which is formed. So, multi layer means uh, it will have at least three layers in it top bottom and one middle layer. And uh, this uh, diagram that is uh, shown here uh, this is for a four layer PCBs. Now, multiple layer PCBs are used for uh, uh, circuits uh, which are larger bigger where uh, two sides are not sufficient and um, uh, four side uh, four layer PCB, six layer PCB or even higher than that uh, PCBs are uh, very much used these days. Now, here further you can see that now this is a connection of uh, a through hole component and this through hole component is having connections further a in the middle layer also. So, that is what uh, you can observe here that uh, this has got a pad this side over here uh, this is the this is that pad part uh, which is also present in the middle layer. So, these are your pads inside the middle layer as well. And this uh, whole thing is filled with uh, copper and then there is pad on the top and the bottom layers as well. And this is a wire and this is uh, a here this one is your wire between your middle layer 1 and middle layer 2 and so it has got pads in middle layer 1 and 2. It, it does not have any existence on the top side and the bottom side. So, when you will see from the top or the bottom that wire is not accessible to you. And if we see this uh, through hole here uh, this directly connects between your top and the uh, bottom 
it uh, has no connection in between means in the middle layer no connections are drawn out to form from this point. And here you can see this is example of another wire where uh, it is uh, forming connection between the top layer and uh, uh, your uh, middle layer 1. So, uh, further you can see that these are the tracks uh, in the middle layer uh, 1 and then these are the tracks in the middle layer 2. So, like that uh, uh, from this uh, what uh, we understand is that, that uh, in each of the layers there will be several uh, copper uh, traces and uh, in between them you can have vias uh, and from the top to bottom you can have through holes and uh, in that through hole it can have connections to the middle layers or it uh, uh, may not also have it. And components obviously you are going to place it either on the top or on the bottom and uh, the middle layers are mostly for your routing forming connections between one point to another point and also for creating planes uh, which we will see little later. So, let us uh, look into the PCB making process. Now, here I will look into it uh, very, very briefly just to give you an idea of what it is. So, uh, PCB making we start with a copper board like something like this and uh, then whatever is the PCB design that means whatever is the PCB layout uh, that is uh, drawn on that board. After that uh, ap apart from that layout that means all the traces and the pads apart from that the rest of the copper is etched out by some chemical process. So, this is uh, something like this is what you get and uh, then after that uh, what is done is that all the holes are drilled in it. So, you can see that here the holes uh, are present uh, which are drilled and also the copper traces are visible in it. After this uh, what is uh, done is like a mask is put. Now, that is called as the solder mask uh, and that is for protection of the copper traces because otherwise if there is no mask on it then the copper traces can uh, get removed uh, from wear and tear. So, here you can see that this green color uh, mask that you see on the PCB that is the solder mask. Now, that is why you see PCBs uh, not of copper color, but of different colors like you get green color, blue, red different color PCB. So, that is the color of the solder mask. And uh, after that uh, 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 to know which component is what or uh, to have an understanding of uh, different uh, pins or points in the PCB, it is uh, usual practice to print the name of different components or to have some notation for uh, different pins. So, that is what uh, you can see here like this CON2, R16, AGND all these things uh, that are printed on the PCB with uh, this white ink that is uh, uh, called as the silk screen. So, after uh, you obtain it that is what is finally what is your PCB is what which we use. Thank you.